Okay. Uh, do you want me to hold this? Yeah, that would be very good. Yes. Right here. Okay. Okay. So. And, well, anytime you want to start, guys. So, I, face. Hi. Uh, how's it going, man? You're, uh, you're Adam, Adam Lopez, nice um, festival you. director uh, of Toronto After Dark Film Festival. Right. On this, uh, so far, this is the opening day. We're here backstage with Adam, and the uh, festival's going really well. So, tell me more about the festival. What is it about? Toronto After Dark? Well, we're five nights of just crazy kick-ass cinema. We've got horror films, we got twisted superhero films, uh, we got flying ninjas. So all sorts of cool, crazy, dark and delicious uh, action, thrilling films from around the world. And um, and we're at the Bloor Cinema, which is in downtown Toronto at Bloor and Bathurst. Are, yeah, at the Bloor Cinema. And we also have a master class with a uh, master of schlock and horror, uh, low-budget style. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman, you may have heard of him, he did The Toxic Avenger and all sorts of other crazy stuff. And he's got a new film actually coming out called Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead. I just love the name of that. It's pretty funky. You the, just the, want to watch it. See you just want to see what is Poultry Geist, Night of the Chicken Dead. I mean, the title like that's crazy. And if you go on YouTube, apparently, well, I've seen it, there's this crazy music video with dancing zombie chickens. Um, Sweet. And I love chicken, by the way. Well, you do, good. Yes, sure. um, well, then you might like this film. Although apparently this film will put you off eating chicken because it's it's got a message in there, which is we're abusing chickens. And if we abuse them too much, they'll turn into zombies. Uh -huh. So it apparently has a message in there with all the zombie mayhem. Uh, we also, if you don't, if you're, if you're interested in beef, do you like beef? Big time, I love steak though. All right, well, we have another film that will put, booty, we have a film that will put you off eating beef. It's called Mad Cowgirl. And it's all about a girl who eats Canadian beef, but it's mad Canadian beef. You know, it's from that those cows that kind of fall over and they're really kind of messed up. So she eats enough of that and then she becomes a psycho-killing vixen. And she, she takes up kung fu and she goes and murders lots of people and she sleeps with priests. So it's pretty it's a pretty wild film. But Mad Cowgirl is a great midnight film. Uh, there's nothing quite like it. So how did you come up with for this festival? What made you want to do this festival? Well, there's no festival like this festival in Toronto. And I I love movies, but I like movies with a bit more cult appeal, right. and I like you know horror films and dark fantasy films. And there really isn't a festival dedicated to that. They play some of those right. at midnight at the big Toronto Film Festival. Well, that's it, but nothing like well, nothing for like all five days. Yeah, like it's a it's a feast of that. And we also love zombies at Toronto After Dark, which I know you're going to be talking to Taya later on yes. about the zombie walk. But we love zombies so much. We don't have one zombie film. We have two. Nice. We have German teenage high school comedy zombies. And then we have, uh, zombie, right? and we have Japanese slacker zombies. So if you like Shaun of the Dead, uh, you'll definitely like Tokyo Zombie. And if you also like a zombie comedy that's also a bit of a teenage thing, if it's like American Pie meets Dawn of the Dead, that's the best thing I can use to describe. Uh, Night of the Living Dorks. Okay, oh, it, it's a great, great, crazy teenage zombie film. What's your favorite zombie movie or your horror movie? Um, well, I love lots of horror films, and talking about zombie films, I actually liked 28 Days Later, which was a British zombie film, and Shaun of the Dead I really loved. I just loved the, the way they did this kind of British comedy, and then there were zombies in there too, and there were slackers, so yeah. And of course Dawn of the Dead, George Romero's classic. Are you classic. yourself too, or what do you do exactly? Yeah, you know what, I, uh, I do make films when I get time. I haven't had a lot of time this year because I've been working on a film festival. <laughs> it's called Toronto After Dark, and that's what we're talking about. No, but I, I used to make some shorts. I actually. Made a zombie short, uh, oh, really? Sunday Night Zombies. Oh, is it playing at the uh, festival here? Or no? no, it's really bad. It played at the Australian Schlock Film Festival. It's called Eat My Schlock. It only plays bad shorts, and they took Sunday Night Zombies, so that's how bad it was. Um, but I used to make some films, but you know, uh, the last year I really liked the idea of taking other people's films right. and giving them somewhere to play. So that's what we're doing. So this is the fifth year, is that correct? Or this is the very first year oh, of the Toronto Dark okay. Film Festival, and a lot of people are thinking that we've been around for a while, but it's, I think that's good. Yes, and you got a lot of responses, a lot of good turnout for the first uh, movie. Yeah, uh, we we, we packed the ground of the blower. We even had people up on the balcony. Uh, it was really really good. Is so it, what, what we hoping to get out of this, like uh, hopefully have it like yearly. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be. I think we're gonna be annual. I think based on tonight and hopefully how it goes, we're gonna be back every October, about two weeks before Halloween. In time for the Toronto Zombie Walk, we'll be, we'll be happening and we'll be showing lots of cool, crazy cult films. So uh, that's Toronto After Dark. And I should mention, if people want to check us out, uh, they can get all the film schedule, all the details at torontoafterdark.com. That's our festival website. And we have trailers there and everything. You can even buy tickets there too. 
So is there any bands today, like for the after party? Today? Uh, yeah, tonight for the after party, we have um, some DJs. Um, we have DJ Ronnie and DJ Jeff, and they are with the band Controller Controller, okay. who are a big deal in town, as you may know. And DJ Shannon, who's like a house DJ at the Bovine Sex Club. The one that, will, uh, that you're hearing right now? Background? It might be DJ Shannon. She plays a lot of crowd pleasing stuff. I'm not <laughs> sure. Or it might even be the Resident Mod Club uh, because they like a lot of retro pop here. Oh, nice. It's a retro pop. Uh, you know, it's like place. their logo is kind of like the Who logo a bit. Yeah. And apparently, I heard this. Um, there's a band which I'm not too familiar in England. I think they were a big 80s band in Canada. Is it Platinum Blonde? But the, the, yeah. this guy who was in the band, Mark, yeah. he co owns the Mod Club. Oh, so sweet. that's why there's this whole 80s Brit pop oh, thing sweet. going on. Co-owner is from a hit '80s band, uh, oh, Platinum nice. Blonde. So there I you go. Like 70s and 60s, class rock. Okay, yeah. Well, um, cool. I like it all. It's all yes. good. Let's smoke a doobie after this. Show. Absolutely. But listen, a pleasure meeting you pleasure guys. Meeting. I'm gonna have to go rock and roll and say hi to a lot of people. Sure. Thanks, sir. Thank you for your time. Thanks. Uh, I hope you have a great time at Toronto Dark. It's gonna be. It's gonna be wild. Yes, yes. And I watch out for the zombies because they might take a little bite out of you like this. Any okay. female zombies? Uh, yeah, we have lots of cute female zombies. In fact, we have one coming right up. All right. Bye for now. Thanks. See you guys. Take care.